Decriminalizing marijuana has brought out many who feel strongly on both sides. And along with passionate pleas, there are a lot of facts and figures flying about which can leave the truth a little hazy. In tonight's top story, Paul Drews clears the air over marijuana's impacts in the islands. Honolulu police officers took a stand at the state capitol over a bill that would decriminalize marijuana. We wanted to see what it looked like. Instead of an arrest, the bill would allow a fine for up to 20 ounces of marijuana. So to see just how much that is, Representative Marcus Oshiro spent last night rolling catnip into these fake joints. Each year, police arrest hundreds with the real thing. But they say residents aren't doing time for their crime. Marijuana arrests uh, comprise a very small portion of Honolulu Police Department's arrests. And a study by the Attorney General's office showed that out of 594 people arrested for uh, marijuana possession, only seven spent more than 10 days in jail. But supporters of decriminalization say that number is higher, and so is the cost for lighting up. A thousand marijuana arrests are made every year in Hawaii. That's a thousand families. That's a life that could be permanently damaged by the current marijuana law policies we have. It's true, on average, over a thousand people are arrested each year for marijuana offenses. That only makes up about 20 percent of the drug arrest each year. But nearly half of those arrested for pot are juveniles. For decades now, kids have been telling the researchers that it's easier for them to get marijuana than beer. One in six youth also become addicted or abuse this drug and seek treatment for this. So it's not a harmless drug as this bill portrays it to be. When it comes to addiction treatment, more adults get help for amphetamine or alcohol abuse. But for teens, the number one drug they are abusing is pot. Supporters of decriminalization say police will be able to put their resources elsewhere under the new bill and the state would save money in the courtroom. $24,000 a day is being spent every time an individual interacts with the criminal justice system because of a marijuana arrest. That is too great a cost for Hawaii to pay. But police counter they'll lose a valuable tool in the war on drugs. Police say without properly identifying people with mug shots and fingerprints, they may not be able to accurately track who is using or abusing marijuana. Kenny Yunji, back to you.